Hey guys, Bennett Fitch here, and welcome to another Nori unboxing. Okay guys, today we have the Spectro Scientific Fluid Scan. This is the 1100 series fluid scan. And it's a really cool technology because it's an infrared spectrometer that's in a handheld device. Now you might be familiar with some of the larger instruments you see in the laboratory, including you know, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy, FTIR. It's more complex and there's a lot of you know, big equipment involved to producing those results along with all the other instruments in a laboratory. It can be quite sophisticated. Well, this gives you an ability to perform that similar type of analysis an important uh, attribute of your lubricant right at your plant, whether it's at your desk or even going around and doing certain types of routes. Uh, all those capabilities are right here. So let's talk about this a little bit more. So there's a little flip top thing here that you open up and you drop an oil and I'll kind of demonstrate it in a minute. Um, and once you put it in here, it's just gonna take about one to two minutes to run the analysis and it gives you all these parameters. So if you're familiar with oil analysis, you might, you know, Remember things like testing for oxidation levels. Of course, you wanna know there's water contamination. If it's an engine, maybe you're looking at soot levels. Okay, before we go any further, let's just see what's in the box itself. You know, of course it came in a nice case and there's a few cables and things to be able to charge it. There's a cable here to connect it to your computer. But one thing you don't notice is any solvents or other liquids. It's actually very simple. You don't need a solvent. You know, you don't need um, any sophisticated uh, processes there to make sure it works properly. All you need is to make sure you're wiping it down between each sample and a couple drops. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you also have this nice poster here, which I've been looking at already to kind of review everything about it. There's a lot of detail, so I'll be putting this on my wall later. It's pretty nice. So I'm kind of anxious to actually uh, go get a hydraulic fluid or gear oil. I'll see what I have around here. Um, really, you can test most any kind of mineral oil, synthetic oil. Um, any kind of application, you know, your most even will have an ability to be tested by this and see whether or not, you know, the machine that oil came from needs to have the oil changed right now or needs to be serviced. You know, that's the benefit right there is being able to know whether or not that machine needs service right now or not simply from a quick test like this. So I got a, an oil here We're about to test it. But as I was getting started, I, re I realized that one of the steps was simply to use the check fluid that they provided here to just do a bit of a, a, a reference check to make sure everything's looking correct. So as I'm waiting for it to finish here, which is really taking, it's right at 35%. You know, I'm looking at the reference fluid here. They provide a certificate of analysis for the infrared check fluid and 50% done. Like I, like I said earlier, it takes a couple minutes. It's gonna be the same time for the actual fluid. Okay, so I'm ready for the, the fluid I have here. Again, I'm gonna use one of these pipettes, gonna open up this flip top, like I said. They have a nice little sh shock absorber here to make sure it opens up gently, and when you close it back together, there's a perfect gap there. All of that's well controlled here in the design. Um, so I'm gonna use this pipette, put a drop of oil. It was already cleaned from the reference fluid. And it's already running, no problem at all. So as it's going, I'll, I'll talk about a couple things. You'll uh, you'll see on the literature they provide and the results that comes up. You know, it tests for all the, the typical um, infrared spectroscopy measurements, like the contaminants of water or glycol if it's an engine soot as well. Um, oxidation, nitration, sulfation. Oxidation in particular, which is important for training the overall condition of the lubricant. It's already at 75% almost done here. Um, and it also looks for like additive depletion, like anti-wear depleting over time. Um, infrared is, is looking at the molecules, which is a little different than maybe elemental spectroscopy, which looks at the, at the elements themselves. Okay, so here I got the results already. It's showing me a, a, an acid number. It's one thing I forgot to mention. So total acid number. If it was an, a, an engine oil, it, it would test for the uh, total base number or base number. Um, and so here we have an acid number showing water, oxidation level, there's an overall fluid integrity, and there's ways to add more values as well when I able, I'm able to create a reference selected fluid um, in the database. So in here they have almost 900 lubricants they're referencing. If I have that fluid, I can use it to 
test a whole bunch of parameters. If it's not in the system, that's okay. We can, you can use, you can add it in the system pretty easily. Not to mention it's handheld so I can walk around if I need to the different instruments, different machines and test the oils or just keep it on your desk. Why not? They have a cord that keeps it charged. It is battery powered, so the options are yours. Um, this really can be used for any kind of application, you know, tur turbine system, hydraulics, compressors, and anyone who's operating those machines or is in charge of monitoring the conditions of those machines. Condition monitoring, fluid analysis is a crucial part of overall condition monitoring. I think it really comes down to a few key things that differentiate this technology compared to some of the larger lab equipment. One of them is the ease of use of this flip top. You know, I think that was pretty well designed and I you know, understand it pretty quickly. The other one is you know, obviously the infrared spectrometer within it. And it gives you good quantitative data about you know, acid number, base number, water, oxidation, and so on. All those things that are very important uh, parameters of the lubricant. Um, and the third one is the database they have in here of over, almost 900 lubricants. And so it's really easy for anyone to kind of get familiarized with this technology. Lots of great benefits. This is the industrial version. There's a military version. There's a marine version as well. Spectro has really great customer service. Also, when you buy the 1100, that's an opportunity to have a field engineer that they provide sent to your, your plant to be able to uh, help you get set up and go through a little bit of training. But in reality, it's not you know, always necessary. You can learn things pretty quickly with what you have here. Um, with that said, you know, I hope you learned a few things today. If you liked the video, hit the like below. Um, there's also a link below to learning more about the, the fluid scan. And with that said, hope you uh, have a good day and see you in the next unboxing.